Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we get to show, well I get to show you the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit for May 2024. It is called Celestial Wishes. I have it, I took it out of the back in the box um, just to make it easier. We're going to go over what's in it really quickly and then we're going to dive in and create some cards using it. Okay, we get a vinyl bag. This is large enough to hold your eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock. Great for organizing. I have a real pretty peach, but your colors may vary. Simon has a rainbow of colors, so it's a nice surprise on what you'll get. <laughs> so this is included. This will actually hold your entire card kit, which is really nice. So that is included along with two eight and a half by 11 sheets of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. These are 110 pound. Heavy, heavy weight, great for card bases, and they're great for stamping and Copic coloring too. You get two sheets of white, which is really nice. This is our six by eight stamp set with the same name as our card kit, Select Celestial Wishes. We have some butterflies, dragonflies, some flourishes. We have some beautiful um, celestial images like the sun or this could be a moon or there is a half moon there. Lots of greetings and sub sentiments that go perfect with the greetings. And I like that there's a variety. That's our stamp set this month. I do want to mention that they have a coordinating die set that will die cut out all of the images in here and I always link it down below in case you guys are interested. Um, I also linked the bundle of the stamp set and the die set too. Um, and speaking of the die set, I do want to mention that this this die coordinates with this sunshine here. I like this because this is actually really pretty on its own. I'm going to die cut it out and show you what it looks like. I went ahead and die cut it out and I kept the negative because if you were to, you can actually use the negative too. Look how fabulous the negative is of this. Fabulous on the, the negative and then it's fabulous on the positive. So this is a great standalone die, but this will cut out that sunshine there. So I love that they include that in our kit this month. So those are included. We also get an emboss and cut folder. These are two and a half inches wide. I, I already cut mine out. I want to show you what it looked like. This is what it looks like cut out. So there is a window that cuts out with the embossed ferns. This is actually called Sunny Fern. So that's included in our kit. And then we have some ink cubes. These are Simon's exclusive ink cubes. We have terracotta and we have zest. I used the negative piece from here to swatch. <laughs> but those are pretty colors and they, they stamp beautifully. So though you get two ink cubes. And you also get some gems. These are Simon Says Stamps Warm Tones Positively Dazzling Gems. Warm Tones means there's yellows, oranges, plums, reds, and I think that's about it, and oranges. So you get a nice variety of sizes and colors in here. And I love the little case that they come in. We also get some ranger tools. This is a two-piece tool set with ex two extra sponges. These are mini. I'm going to open them up here. I think these are really neat. They're Velcro. They attach. So you have four of these pads. But they're like the perfect size. How cool is that? Love these. So we get two of those. Great for our stash building. We get a dandelion A2 envelope that is a peel and stick. Goes really well with our zest ink. You can see it matches really perfectly. And then you get 10 sheets of six by six pieces of pattern paper. I'm gonna go through them really fast because they are beautiful. These are from Craft Consortium. I love this. This is summery to me. <laughs> that is summery too. But you get some beautiful colors. They are, they look like they are watercolor. I love this too. I don't think I could pick a favorite because they're all fabulous. Look at this one. And you get 10 pieces. But you know what? 
nice thing is they're double sided so you have some more fabulous colors on the reverse side that are just as pretty so you're gonna have a hard time picking them I just I don't know what it is about plum I just love the plum color I just think it's so pretty but that's everything in our kit this month lots of goodies lots of stash builders I mean all of, look at I Look at how fabulous. I'm going to show you. I say stash builders because all of this, all of this will stay in our stash after the kit is has been used this month. How nice is that? I love stash builders. <laughs> and then these ones are what, what are not. But I'm pretty sure if you want to replace them, Simon has an abundance of probably the Craft Consortium cardstock, the Nina, and also the envelopes. So we get a nice variety this month. I'm going to put everything to the side, and we're going to jump in and create some cards. We're going to do stamping first. So first we're going to put in an A2 panel that I created. Actually, this is the Nina cardstock. And we're going to stamp this beautiful, we're going to do all of our stamping at, um, at once here. And this is really pretty too. Let's do our greetings. We're going to stamp all of these bigger greetings. I might need to bring in another piece of cardstock. I'm going to stamp with my intense black ink. Beautiful. Okay, I'm also going to take another panel and I'm going to stamp the dragonfly. And maybe we'll do the so very much too. We're going to do the so very much and the butterfly too. So we have some very bold dragonflies and butterflies and leaf flourishes. Let's go ahead and put this back. Now I'm pretty sure Simon will have the coordinating dies to cut these out. If you have a scan and cut, you can use that. But I'm going to fussy cut each one of these out for my card today. I have everything fussy cut out. Okay, and now we're going to work on our first card. First card, we're going to bring in our emboss and cut folder. We're going to put these to the side here. And I have... The cut line, or this little embossy folder is two, it's framed in and it's two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I have a panel that measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and line this up and it should fit inside here perfectly. I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and I will be right back. So we have a little square panel with a window in it and to put behind my window I have a piece of glitter cardstock. This is Dazzling Diamond Glitter Cardstock from Ulta New. It's super pretty. Um, before we put it behind here though I do want to do a little bit of ink blending in my background and that's where our inks will come in and our uh, tiny, are they called tiny blending tools? <laughs> I'm going to start with my yellow and I had already prepped it. You might want to saturate your pad and then I like to tap off the excess just so you don't get a big glob on here. But I'm going to go over my fern with the yellow. Okay, so we have a little bit of color on our embossed background and then I'm going to bring in my terracotta. That was zest ink. Now I went ahead and again saturated this one. You might want to tap your ink pad because they're pretty juicy 
and then tap away some excess before you go over the fern. And I'm just going to lightly go over the fern. And I, th I think I'm going to go around the whole entire frame, kind of creating a gradient around that circle and kind of fade out. Let me show you what I mean. You see how it darkens the edges? Just I have these strips from Simon Says Stamp. They'll fit perfectly behind this frame. You can add a little dimension. I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to add my glitter behind here. Okay, I'm going to clean off my work surface and we're going to take some of our pattern paper. For this card, we're going to use this piece of pattern paper and I thought we would put it at an angle on the front of our card base. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. I'm going to tack this down on the front of my card base and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trim away the excess here. Okay, and then I went ahead and well, of course I added my gems where we used the Simon Says Stamp. We used the gems that came in our kit this month and I just added a few and then I matted my embossed panel on a piece of white cardstock. I actually want to trim this down a little bit more. Okay, just so we so it stands out against our background. I went ahead and put adhesive behind here and I'm going to layer this in the center of my card. Now I already created my butterfly. What I did was use Copic markers to color in the flowers on here. I used three different colors. Let me show you. I used these three, these three colors for the butterfly. And I remember we stamped two. What I did was trim out this middle part I just used my scissors, fussy cut that part out, and then I popped them up with foam tape. I put one behind the body and then two behind the wings. So you can see it kind of has a little bit of an angle. And I'm loving the way this looks. I thought we would tack this down on our embossed background. Okay. For this card, we're going to use the greeting that says Miss You. I already popped it up with some foam tape, and then that will finish off card number one. We're going to jump in with our next card and do a little bit more die cutting. For my next card, we're going to bring in some more white cardstock, and using our die, I'm going to cut this out three times for my next card. I love the way these look. I think this looks great with anything behind it. Um, for this card, we're going to use this pattern paper. I love this orangey color. I think either side would work fabulous. I'm going to trim this down. We're going to trim it down to three and three quarters by five and a half. Okay, we need a greeting. Now, I was going to use thank you, but I thought um, it was a little too bold. So we're going to bring back the stamping positioner and some white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp our thank you. I'm going to take the thank you here. And I'm going to start, I'm going to create a gradient with both of our inks here. I'm going to start with my zest. And I'm going to stamp it a few times. Okay. I think that looks great where you can see it. And then I'm not even going to bother cleaning off my stamp. I'm going to bring in my terracotta. And I'm going to go ahead and add ink to the very bottom portion here. Now if you get ink on the top portion of 
your thank you. That's okay because we have these little mini blending tools. And all you have to do is wipe away the ink. It does this beautifully. And then you can do a nice fade. Look how pretty that is. These work great for fading. You can actually add ink too. You can add it to the bottom. I can use the yellow and do the fade. Watch for a little more intense look. I just love that. So these are great for fading too. I'm gonna go ahead. My neighbors are <laughs> my neighbors are doing lawn work. So if you hear a uh, lawnmower, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take this time and fussy cut out my greeting. Okay, I'm loving the way this looks. Okay, and I did also bring back a quarter inch strip of that same glitter cardstock. I thought we would add a glitter border here. I always like to cover up my seams and I think this is gonna work out great. Just tack this down. And then I'm gonna pop up my leaf with some foam tape here. We're gonna add some foam squares behind this leaf flourish. I'm gonna place this in the middle. Kind of following the curve of those bursts Kind of a different way to use those dies and then I'm going to add my greeting down here at the very bottom Maybe we should I think maybe I want to tuck you know what I think I'm going to take this leaf flourish we're going to add a foam square behind here and rather than have a stem at the very bottom, let's overlap them. And then I can add my greeting right over the middle of both of those. We're going to bring in our dazzling gems and add some sparkle here. We will just finish these off. And that will finish off card number two. Kind of a very unique looking card. But I love the way this turned out. Different way to use those bursts. Okay, let's jump into our final project today. I'm bringing back my stamping positioner and I have two pieces of cardstock. One of them, we're gonna bring in the starburst. Using my terracotta ink, we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. I'm going to ink it up a couple times because I want a nice bold impression. Lovely. Okay, and then take this out. I'm going to go ahead and take another piece of cardstock, making sure that this has coverage. I'm bringing in my paper trimmer, and I'm going to trim this um, with my paper trimmer evenly spacing it on the left and the right because we're going to create a kind of a frame with this. Okay, I'm going to take this, bring back my stamping positioner. I know we fussy cut out the happy birthday, but I think I want to stamp directly on this panel. So I'm going to put this back in here. I'm going to grab my happy birthday. I'm going to stamp it at the very bottom here. Let's mat this on some silver glitter cardstock. I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card base. And then I did pop up this with foam tape. We're going to put this right in the middle. Actually, actually we have the darker purple side, but when I flipped it over, 
kind of like this side better. I'm going to use this side. Okay, and I have our dragonfly. I went ahead and colored it in using some pinks and oranges, the same colors that we used for the very first one. Okay, I'm going to take this. We're going to pop it up with some foam squares, just one. Let's go ahead and add this, kind of offsetting it so we have a lot of those sparkles. So we have offsetting it so we have a lot peeking out from behind it. I'll take my dragonfly. Let's go ahead and add this. Kind of, I like it at an angle. I think that's going to look wonderful. We're going to bring back our gems. And I love adding gems to dragonfly or butterfly bodies. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to, we have some purples in here. Let's use some purples. We'll use the largest. I think that's going to look lovely. We're going to use a purple gem for the head of the butterfly and then some red and purple gems for the body. And we'll trail down because there's different sizes of gems. We can actually switch between the orange and the purple. But I used red, oranges, and purples. Isn't that so pretty? And that will finish off that card. So let's take a look at all three cards we made today with the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit for May 2024. A few different ideas. <laughs> I always like to think outside the box when I create with the card kits, give you guys something a little bit different. But that's, but those are my projects today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.